Hi, thanks for stopping by the video blog of PosterCentral.com. I'm Pete Howard and this is a Jimi Hendrix concert poster from early 1968 to beat the band. Um, and, and you know, almost anybody worth their rock salt has seen the image at one time or another. It's a famous poster by Detroit poster artist Gary Grimshaw. This is an absolute beautiful first printing in beautiful mint condition. And um, this is Hendrix at the CNE Coliseum Arena, the Canadian National Exhibit Coliseum Arena. That's a mouthful for a venue, isn't it? And uh, in the um, Russ Gibb Presents Grande series, that's poster number 70, but it's a real standout. It's very, very popular. It's, collectors just love this. It's um, just gorgeous. In fact, let me run it by you real quick. Gorgeous lettering and gorgeous graphics. Picture the experience. And uh, Gary signed this one, the artist Gary Grimshaw, a beautiful silver signature there. It's just a lovely, lovely, one of the best Hendrix concert posters ever made. Just undoubtedly, no question about it. Nice timing in Jimmy's career. His second album had been out for just a couple of three weeks. But interestingly, you know, quite often bands and artists and rock musicians, what have you, promote their new record, right? They're playing a bunch of songs from it because they're excited by it. Well, Jimmy only did one song at this show from his new album, Axis Bold as Love. That was Spanish Castle Magic. He did eight songs from Are You Experienced? So Jimmy was into crowd-pleasing. It's pretty obvious. And he also threw in a couple from his, um, uh, his incendiary Monterey Pop performance of a few the, the previous summer. He also performed Wild Thing and Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone. Um, but this, uh, you know, this is about the poster, and it's a gorgeous one, and it was reprinted like 20 years later with that annotation. So if you find one... You don't have to worry about it being, um, you know, a first printing or not. It's uh, you'll rarely find one in this good a condition, though. It's just wonderful. Interesting uh, tidbit about the show as well is that after this gig, did I mention Jimmy wasn't scheduled to even go on until 11 p.m. and then after his set, uh, he actually went to a small club in Toronto where he met up with Robbie Robertson and uh, some members from the band and jammed with them. And this was like six months before the band released music from Big Pink and became stars in their own right. So that's just an anecdotal, you know, fun little add-on. But a great, great poster from Gary Grimshaw on the Jimi Hendrix Experience from February of 1968. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by and come back again soon. Bye-bye.